We're here today at the annual Fallen Warrior Memorial Ceremony, the annual wreath laying and All annual honoring of our fallen God. soldiers. To leave no soldier behind. To acknowledge 11 and today a 12th name added to this memorial. This ceremony is important for both the military members and the families of the fallen in different ways. For some, today is a solemn ceremony because we are adding another name to the memorial. For others, it's a way to remember those who've made the ultimate sacrifice and to think back on both good times and others with the, these personnel. The families, in a lot of time, find joy in coming here because there's a sense of camaraderie. They get to see their National Guard family and they can also pay their respects to their soldiers. We basically come every year to this. It means a lot to us to see the, the Guard continues to honor, remember what Michael did and, and the others. My wife and I uh, come for support of the, the other Gold Star families. For me personally, the meaning behind this event is uh, somewhat bittersweet. I just returned from deployment to Afghanistan less than a year ago, and I saw some of my friends make the ultimate sacrifice on duty. In some ways, I feel like I'm also honoring them. The lineage of sacrifice in the name of democracy extends from Lexington to Gettysburg, from San Juan Hill to the Meuse Argonne, from Normandy to Pusan, from Quezon to Kuwait, from the World Trade Center and the Pentagon to the mountains of Afghanistan and the streets of Baghdad. The ceremony is always around 9-11. I'm sure every one of us can remember exactly where we were at that moment. And the community has come together and in support of the National Guard, whereas normally the National Guard is in support of the community. So it's a good day for the National Guard and for the community of Maryland.